Scorpio, this is your weekly reading. Let's see what we have for you. And I thought I saw something, but we'll see. Scorpio, let's see. What do we have for Scorpio, please? What do we have for Scorpio? Love? Uh, I'm getting an image uh, message here. Some of you could be painting or painters. I see a lot of colors. You could be even painting a wall in your room. I see like someone painting and using beautiful colors. Scorpio, I see you practicing self-love. There is something that spirit is is telling you to do through you. Ooh. This can be regarding someone. Spirit is awake like spirit is awakening the thought of someone that you've dealt with from the past. For a reason. Why? Let's see. It's a karmic. Did you ghost someone that you weren't meant to ghost? If you have ghosted someone because they did something that just you shut out from, you weren't meant to do that. You weren't meant to cut this person out like that. This is leaving some type of cord between the two of you. So spirit is trying to make you connect to someone that you've cut off. Because you weren't meant to cut them off like that. You still didn't meet the contract. <sighs> Criteria? Criteria. Criteria. I think that's what I'm hearing. Criteria. You didn't meet the criteria to cut this person out of your life. This can be a karmic, but even with karmic connections, we have to have like some lessons learned from them. And you cut this person too soon out. You cut this person out too soon. I'm not taking that one that fell. Yeah, so it's telling me that this person is a karmic. You were right. If you if you thought that this person isn't a long term, you are right. But there is also something here telling me that you cut them off too soon. There is something that you still didn't learn through this connection, which you were meant to learn. And I see a second cycle with them. There will be a second cycle with them. But it's like spirit is trying to tell you, even if this person is not meant to be in your life long term, you cut them off too soon before you you learned the lesson that you're meant to learn from this person. You are contracted to meet this person to learn that lesson because it is part of your growth and it, it is part of your path. So I see here that there will be communication between the two of you again because spirit will make it so. Fun, fun, fun. But I see, I mean, Scorpio, this is something that you will have to go through because there's something here that is not done and you need to experience it. I don't feel it will be fun. I feel like you will repeat a cycle with this person, but the ending will be different in a way uh, so that you learn that lesson that you missed the first cycle with them. And that will give you wisdom and emotional intelligence because through struggle and heartbreak, guess what? Healing comes along and when you heal, you become more wise, more intelligent when it comes to your emotions. This is what you missed. <laughs> I can't believe it. Like, this is brutal. <laughs> this is a brutal message. So spirit is telling you to go to someone that you've cut off <laughs> way too soon because they didn't hurt you 
um, in the sense where you were meant to be hurt. Because through that hurt, you will gain the wisdom and the experience and the knowledge to be emotionally more intelligent than you, you are right now. Ouch. Brutal message, I must say. Ooh. <laughs> Let me see. Anything else for Scorpio? Believe it or not, this is an opportunity for your own growth. This will help you manifest even more things than you have already. Ooh. This will bring a lot of balance and grounding and stability in your life. And you will feel like you have to do this solo. Guess what? We all come solo. We leave solo. The contracts that we meet in this lifetime are either a karmic or a, uh, a, a connection where you feel truly connected and stay long term. But this is a karmic. This is a karmic that you're meant to be uh, experience, experiencing things with them so that they benefit you in, in a weird way through suffering. I know, I mean, I don't blame you for cutting this person out of your life too soon because I would have done the same, right? Who wants to deal with someone that is that you know that isn't good enough for you? But I feel like you cut this person too soon because there is something that they will offer you through hurt. Or through some type of, doesn't have to be like her, just like punching, you becoming a punching bag. It's like hurt through emotions, through understanding this. It's like this person will trigger you. But that trigger is so that you resolve something within you that will allow you to grow. I know. It's not an easy message. It's it's definitely a fucked up way to learn something, but guess what? It's either a blessing or a lesson. In this case, it's a lesson that you missed paying attention to. So the spirit is bringing this person back so that you begin a new cycle with them, so that they trigger you again, and then you will learn something and overcome that trigger, and you will gain wisdom from that. And you, it will open your energy up again and you will fulfill the contract that you were contracted to have with this person. So basically you will cut the cord through meeting this contract or meeting the criteria of this contract in this lifetime. Let's see actually a message from your higher self for... Scorpio. Give me a message from Scorpio's higher self, please. A message from Scorpio's higher self. <clears throat> Be mindful with your money, honey. Are you spending above your means, avoiding the reality of your bank's bank account? shopping to numb any negative feelings or pain it may be time to clean up your relationship with money let go of fear and shame around your finances and take responsibility for your future today any unwise decisions you've made in the past are behind you seek guidance where needed and keep the big picture of your financial well-being in mind remember money saved is money earned I have for you, Scorpio. See you soon.